So we had the SID Display Week, and uh, hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Alain Lacourse, Application Engineer at Boreas Technologies. Hello. Hi, I'm Nicolas duchesne Laforet, Marketing Manager at Boreas Technology. So, um, what do you do here at uh, Boreas? So, Boreas, we do, we're a fabulous semiconductor company. We build, uh, we create um, drivers for piezoelectric actuators. Is it something in here? Yeah, it's something in here. It's the small part here. So, there are two of our chips here with the required component. Uh, the piezoelectric actuator would be connected here, and this uh, board is our development board that connects to the PC. And so what is, this, um, what is happening here? What is, uh, what is this part? So this part is an inductor, and there is a uh, R chip, and the other are basic components required for making the part operate. And so uh, you are able to do uh, haptic piezo, haptic feedback. Uh, instead of uh, the normal haptics are done by uh, by a different way. How yeah, is this there, different? There are different technologies to uh, to do uh, haptics. There's the ERM, which is the first rotation motors that you found into cell phones. More advanced cell phones today are using uh, LRAs, and uh, piezoelectric actuators are the next wave of uh, haptic devices. And we uh, have designed a driver that is uh, low power, uh, small footprint, and uh, that is designed basically from the ground up to uh, make these uh, devices operate. So our chip can do, um, can drive the, uh, the, dri the drive the actuator and also sense how much pressure the user is putting on the. So device. here you have a demo phone. So the phone could have haptics on the side, for example. For example, we re replace the mechanical button by a piezo actuator that is inside the screen, uh, but not the screen. Sorry, the uh, the frame. And when we push on the frame, the user feels a simulation of a button. So it's, it's, it feels like a button, but there's no button. So it makes it easier to build a phone? It makes it easier to have it sealed, to have it more uh, rugged, and also to create uh, haptics uh, at any location in the device. So we could have a device under the screen, for example, and have the, dev the user press the screen or feel some, uh, some typing when he's actually using the keyboard, for example. A uh, usual haptic system has only one for the whole phone, right? All, one for the whole phone. Is that what you do also? Um, it's so a, you can have several. That's something that could be uh, that could be done. There are different uh, possibilities with that, and uh, it's a, it's really the 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 good point with the piezo is that it's in direct contact with the surface. That's in the direct contact with the user, so the effect is direct. It can feel both the pressure and give the um, the, the feedback. But uh, you can't do it right now where it's uh, one that does everything or you have to localize several or right now you put it just behind the right now we've put it just on the uh, on the on the frame. So on there the frame. there's no inside there's no device inside underneath the screen. It's only inside the frame. Nice. And what do we see here? What is this? Uh, this is the this? Yep. Yeah. those are the different uh, package that we have for the chip. So the first row, you can see the, well, actually, um, I yeah. can I cannot show you that part. <laughs> ah, you cannot show that part? No. OK. Uh, you can see it with your eyes, but uh, yeah. yeah, you're not supposed to. OK, cool. OK. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how can people use the development kit? So the development kit is our the first step for our customers yep. to <laughs> get experience with piezoelectric actuators. So they can connect the actuators on the end uh, they can plug it into the computer, and it's recognized by the computer as a uh, as a USB speaker. So out of the box, you can have access to the press and release simulation demonstration. You can also play waveforms directly through the uh, from the computer to the board. It, they will be played on the uh, on the actuators. And then once the uh, the customer is ready to go to the next level and build his uh, prototype, he can reprogram the microcontroller from the source code that we provide. And one step further uh, to build this prototype, it can break the board in three pieces, and those two pieces can be directly connected to his system.